beautiful morning again as per the usual when you're kayak fishing in the ocean and I've already seen dolphins there's a bunch of dolphins right up here so I'm gonna see if we can go say hi really fast they're right in front of me they're right in the kelp so that could be a great sign because there, there could mean uh, there's a lot of bait in you know the dolphins are probably there for a reason and the bait has been sort of scarce out here i found it deeper but right out here in the kelp beds near shore i haven't been seeing much so maybe they're moving in that's good news look at these guys right all in here wow what a way to start the morning And just like that, seems like they're gone. Oh, they're right on the other side of this kelp. Wow. Yeah, there they are. And look, there's some bait out here. Beautiful. So this morning is super flat out here. Ah, it's decently flat out here. So I came out extra far to do a really nice long drift over an area which I think will be promising. I just saw something big ripple in the water. All right, just keep an eye out. Last year I got circled by a 13 foot great white shark, bigger than the kayak I'm on. But I could just, my mind could just be playing tricks on me. Cause it's a little wavy, so. You see kind of dark spots a little bit. Oh well. Okay, let's fish. I'm gonna start off going for halibut using two rods and then I might switch to just one rod for a big lean cod. But this is what I'm using right now, squid. This is fresh squid from the Monterey Bay. And we're gonna send it down in 54 feet of water. All right, and that's it, we're fishing. As always, I'll be throwing this swim bait today, five inch swim bait with a one and a half ounce jig head and um, catches me a lot of fish out here. A lot of halibut, but also a lot of lean cod, rockfish, uh, basically everything. Look, I have a bait ball swimming under my kayak, so I just opened my sabiki right here to let it drop down to it. There we go. Last uh, time I was here, there was a, there were a bunch of mackerel, which are fantastic live bait. So let's see what I got. Yeah, mackerel. Look at the look at the bait ball under me. So nice. No. Oh. Nice mackerel I got here. Put it in the live well. And you can see within a couple of seconds, the school has moved away. So that's why I had the sabiki in the water ready. And all I had to do was open the bale and got hit instantly. And that's it. Swim in the swim bait, bouncing it off the bottom. We got the squid and uh, squid, lots of times doesn't last very long down there because everything eats it. So if it gets eaten right now, I'm gonna put a mackerel on. That's gonna be a really, really good live bait for any halibut out here. Oh, GoPro, start recording. I'm already on the swim bait, on the first cast. I love the swim bait, man. That thing knows how to get bit. It's a rockfish. Boom, just like that, first fish of the day. Quick release, there we go. Didn't get a hit on the squid, but I wanna take advantage that these mackerel are nice and lively because this thing will get bit and it will get bit by a good fish. It's a perfect size bait. 
putting in the, the treble and the nose hook right there and it's nice and lively. It's not always that you have a nice lively mackerel on your team. So drop that guy down. If you noticed I put that treble hook under him. The reason I did that under is because the halibut is going to hit from below. Rod is back down. Live mackerel is out. Swim bait is being cast. Let's see what happens. Big school of bait right here on the surface. Cast the sabiki at them. May have scared of some. There we go. Oh, I'm definitely, they're definitely biting it, but they're not sticking. Try to cast past them so they don't get spooked. Well, that was right into them, but they should hit that. There we go. Got some. I just want to see what this is. If they're sardines, oof. serious business. Yeah, sardines. Ooh. Man, we're just finding the best live bait out here today. I'm gonna see if I can get some more. Sardines are fantastic. Look at that big school of sardines. Try to get a bunch. There we go. Nice. There we go. No. Oh. Well, one flopped out, but look at that big school of sardines swimming under me. Look at all these scales. Th that shimmery stuff you see right there, those are sardine scales. So, oh, look, they're, they're right here. Look at all those scales. Something is definitely going after them. Could be the mackerel, actually. There could be big mackerel following those. Just such a good sign that the bait is in here. Such a promising start to the day. And steady, steady bait right under me. Sardine scales coming up all over the place. Wow. Look, something definitely, and by something, I mean a halibut, definitely went after our live bait. Didn't stick, but look at those slashes. And look at that. Yeah, I knew there was something checking him out. The rod tip was acting kind of weird. Yeah, halibut. Since sardines die kind of fast, I'm gonna put down a sardine, because he may not be around for later, whereas that mackerel probably will. And there you go, sardine is nice and lively. That is halibut snack. Drop down 52 feet of water. It's much harder for something to bite this one and not get hooked than it is with the mackerel, so that's good. GoPro, start recording. Ooh, GoPro, start recording. There we go. Slammed the sardine. Fish on. No head shakes, but it's heavy. What do we got? Halibut. Little halibut, first fish of the day. And, oh, there you go, popped off. All right, I was about to release him. Perfect, got a big old sardine on here. Put this guy on, there he is. That's gonna catch us a fish, that's a nice big sardine. Small halibut, but it's definitely a start. Let's see if we can get a bigger one now.
Something's checking him out. I just saw my rod tip go like that, and I can see on the fish finder something came up off the bottom, and I think it's currently checking out my sardine. I'm watching you. Very cool, I can see all this going on on the fish finder. This is it coming right up the, off the bottom and went back down. That happens a lot. You know, they come up to see the bait, investigate. They can maybe take a little nibble or they just watch it and then they go back down. Like, look, looks like this guy lost interest and swam back down to the bottom. But my sardine may be a little torn up. So I'll check it in a couple of minutes. Man, something is checking that thing out. GoPro, start recording. There we go. There we go. Look, on the fish finder. I saw it before it hit. There we go. Fish on. On the sardine. Saw it on the fish finder. A second before it hit. What is this? It's pretty decent. It's a shark. Oof. Oof. Shark on the sardine. Caught one of these guys the other day as well. Ooh, tail slapped my hand. Yeah, it wasn't fighting like a halibut or a lean cod, but it had decent weight to it. So that explains that. Shark. Wow, look, it looks like something took a bite out of the shark at some point and it healed, but he has a scar on his side. Well, I wasn't able to take the hooks out. It was taking too long. I didn't want to end up killing him trying to take the hooks out. So I just cut them off and they should rust off. Ugh, I hate leaving hardware in fish, but sometimes it's better to just cut it than um, spend a ton of time fighting that thing and having his head out of the water and it's spinning around, getting kind of wrapped in the line. So, sucks but I had to cut it and they'll get off at some point they'll rust out but I wish I could have gotten them out sardines seem to be doing pretty well so the fresh and lively one going down to the bottom GoPro, start recording. I'm on the swim bait. Oh, halibut, another halibut. There we go, swim bait popped out nice and easy. Beautiful second halibut of the morning. There he goes. And check it, I released that halibut and look at this. It swam straight to the bottom right there. So cool to see it on the fish finder. <laughs> GoPro, start right. Ooh, that was a fish on the very next cast after that halibut. See, sometimes they're in groups. So keep casting the swim bait here. Felt like it had some weight to it. If I had to guess, it would be a halibut of the sim of the same size or similar as the one I just released. GoPro, start recording. Yep. No. Dang it. Look. Hit the bait. 
pulled him up, swam off, and now he's back on the bottom. That was right after those two on the swim bait, literally a minute after, so. And that was a halibut. So those marks right there, definitely a halibut. So right now, three halibut bites in two minutes. Ooh. GoPro, start recording. There's a fish on the swim bait. Got some weight to it. Ooh, that's gonna be a halibut. Another halibut. This one's nicer. All right, look at that fish on the swim bait right there. It's a good halibut. Wow, yeah, that's a 30 incher. Yo, yeah, came off the swim bait, but I'm grabbing him pretty good. Bag has got a bunch of of ice in it. Should keep him nice and fresh. Yep. There we go. GoPro, start recording. Next cast after that halibut on the swim bait, something else on. I missed him once and he came back for it. It's another halibut, fourth halibut of the day. Oh, there we go, popped the hook. He was getting released anyways. But that's it, that's the magic of the swim bait at work. On the swim bait again, non-stop. Last couple of minutes have been fish after fish after fish. Another halibut, wow. Fifth halibut of the day. Small one, popped the swim bait almost into my face. That's another halibut, wow. Get it back out there. GoPro, start recording. Another fish on the swim bait. Very nice cast. Man. Another, oh, that's a lean cod. Thought it was a halibut for a sec. Nice lean cod. Whoa, lean cod death roll. I have not seen that before. Look, spit up a squid and uh, is gone. Damn, he turned into a crocodile right there. Mm. Just death rolled my swim bait. <sighs> GoPro, start recording. Next cast, three casts, three fish. Right now, swim bait again, and I have a fresh squid out. Wow. Oh, this one's got some weight to it. Oh yeah, definitely got some weight to it. Wow. It's wide open, wide open bite. Let's see, 
what is this big lean cut or big halibut but it's big oh yeah let's see if i can get him on this side to avoid line tangles and put you guys on this side as well it's a nice halibut Dang, another nice one. Got him. I've gotten, I believe just one small fish on the bait, one small halibut and that shark. And five halibut, including two big ones on the swim bait. Here it is again, folks, for if you're not convinced, five inch swim bait doesn't really matter the brand just you know get a nice white five inch swim bait pair it with a ooh fish on fish on here yeah yeah i'm on the squid i'm gonna say pair it with a one ounce to one and a half ounce jig head and you'll start catching a lot of fish let's see Lingard, little Lingard. Wow, <laughs> so many fish. There he goes. Thirty-two incher. Nice. 32 inch halibut on the swim bait. Right now, the limit for California halibut in this section of California is two per person per day. So I caught my limit for halibut. I'm switching over to just using one rod. I'm gonna throw it around. I wanna see if I can catch a nice lean cod. I catch a lot of lean cod, but I don't keep a lot. And the reason why is because I usually fish multiple rods just because I love throwing the swim bait so much. So right now we're gonna go swim bait only, see if we can get ourselves a lean cod. GoPro, start recording. No. Just lost one on the swim bait. Oh, it's back. No. Oh, it's back again. What the hell? Came back three times. Can't get him. There we go. GoPro, start recording. Got one. I felt it thump a couple of times. Let's see, I hope it's a link cod. Yeah, it's a link cod. But it's small. Well, there he goes. GoPro, start recording. I'm on, again, on the swim bait. It's a link cod. It's not a keeper, but wow, this one is super blue. Look at that. One of the bluest ones I've seen out here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm gonna get him quickly released. There he goes. It's time for me to head in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more. Until next time, everybody, tight lines.